what's happening, Big Uncle Shredneck. So in today's transfer training series, volume two, we're gonna talk about the when. All right, so we're gonna be talking about when uh, during you know our, our different training cycles, when we're gonna do certain exercises versus not doing them to get the to get the biggest transfer of training. All right, so I wanna use the example today from a great book I have here, all right, that I've mentioned, Transfer Training in Sports, okay? Great book by Anatoly Bondarchuk. I don't know if I'm saying his name correctly. Famous Soviet uh, sports scientist researcher. This guy's got some really, some really uh, interesting books that I'm uh, really diving into and just brushing up on stuff that I haven't really uh, studied or looked at in years. You know, you kind of forget. You know, once you're uh, in the profession of doing something, you kind of sometimes forget. You know, you got to brush up on stuff you learned years ago. And that's what I'm, you know, doing now. So in in, in reading about this stuff, um, you know, that's where the, the transfer training series kind of came to mind. Uh, just wanted to, you know, do some summary points, kind of help myself understand, others understand. All right. So when we talk about the when, as I mentioned in the first video, right, it depending on what part of the year we're in, in terms of, you know, how, how we're... Um, you know, getting ready for whether it's an event, a competition, all right, during certain parts of the year, we're going to be doing uh, different exercises, okay? So in uh, this part right here, we're going to focus on the general physical preparation part, okay? Now, I think that's just a good a good base to, to understand and really see how our training transfers over to increased results um, and not only increase results but gets us ready for the next training block all right so general physical preparation block that's going to be your first um training block all right and basically in this in this uh part of the year you're going to focus on building a base a foundation uh for everything for strength power speed endurance so in this this example here we're going to look at uh, elite shot putters all right so shot put track and field event all right, so just some of the exercises they did uh, during this uh, GPP block. So they did some standing log jump, triple jump, vertical jump. They did a 20-meter run from a flying start. Uh, they did power clean, barbell squat, bench press, barbell snatch, and throwing the shot backwards. All right, so you see you have a mix of some plyometrics. You have a mix of strength exercises. You have a mix of uh, some endurance and speed with the running. All right, so again, so... We're going to do, you know, again, it doesn't matter what, what type of athlete you are, all right? It's important to keep in mind to get the biggest transfer from your training to actual increased results, all right? We, we, we want to tailor our training in a way that, you know, depending on what part of the year we're in, we're focusing on, on certain stuff, you know, that's going to help us reach our goal. All right. So in the GPP phase, again, building that foundation, that's why you see, you know, a little bit of everything. And once the athletes are out of that stage, all right, they're able to then go on to the next stage, all right, or the next training cycle, where the work becomes more and more specialized and more tailored to the actual event or sport that the athlete's going to be doing. All right. So you know, when, again, when I say we look at the when, all right, periodization, you know, is, is basically is basically the same thing. All right. So, again, we're, we're tailoring, you know, our, our, our load, our sets, our reps, our exercises, intensity, volume, you name it, based off of where we're at in the year. All right. Because we want to get to a point where in our GPP phase, we're here, then we get into our specialized preparatory stage and then we get into the competitive stage all right so we're, we're, we're going up the ladder a little bit each one all right and then would also when when you when you train like this another big thing is when the season or you know your your competition uh is over or whatever big big event you were doing when it's over and you know you take you know a little bit time off and you know start to train again all right when when, when you train like this your body gets into a groove where, you know, it, it knows, okay, during certain parts of the year, maybe the intensity is not that high, but I'm still keeping, you know, my, my, myself in a position where when I go from one training block to the next, it's not such, you know, a, a big demand on the body where, you know, you see overtraining, you see injuries, stuff like that. All right. So that's something to keep, keep in mind. All right. So 
quickly again, all right? When we look at the when, when we're talking about transfer training, all right, it just all depends on what what training block you're in and, and what, what you're looking to accomplish, all right? So we talked about really the GPP part of the training block today, all right? Building that base, and then we branch out from there to more specific, more skill work, stuff like that as, as we're approaching our competition, event season, you name it. All right, so that's part two. Stick around part three. We're going to talk about the why, and that'll be the end of our transfer training series. All right, have a good one.